Grand Rising, Grand Rising. Welcome back to another video. Yes, I'm in my blue robe again. So y'all, today, I was like, let me show y'all. I'm drinking all my green juice, y'all. So I was like, you know what? I want some cereal. But I don't want the genetically modified cereal that the government got. You know to keep us under the spell that we under so i said you know what why not try to make your own cereal or should i say granola but uh, i'm gonna try it as cereal to see how that works so i went online and looked up a quick and easy recipe and i said why not record it for y'all okay so let's make some granola aka cereal so let me show y'all what i got over here can y'all see so y'all, I'm going to use natural sugar, and these are dates. They are considered nature's sugar. So I do have to pit these dates, and I use these to keep from using the, like I said, the man-made uh, white sugar. So I have three dates here. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and pick them because I do believe they have seeds in them, I think. So, let's see. Yeah, it has seeds. So, I'm, I'm going to pick them, remove the seeds, and then... That's another seed. pitted them or remove the seeds that's just the oven um it's done preheating sorry about that okay so now since i've pitted the dates as you can see what i'm going to do is blend them and i had them soaking in this hot water so they can kind of get soft so they're easier to blend. So I'm gonna put them in the blender and I'm gonna use some of the water, the hot water that it was soaking in and blend it into like a, a little paste, I guess. All right. makes it easier to blend when you soak them first in hot water. It's a cheap blender, y'all, so I got to make sure I got it good. Okay. So, got that blended. And I'm going to be using organic, um, old-fashioned oatmeal or, I guess, yeah, organic whole grain, whole grain oats. So, I'm going to use a cup and a half. Okay. mess that's one cup and we're gonna do a half okay and now we're gonna pour the date syrup sugar whatever you want to call it over in there it was a few little, little chunky pieces but it's okay. And then, I'm not going to measure, but I'm going to put up some cinnamon in there, y'all. I don't know. That might have been maybe a teaspoon or a teaspoon and a half. And we're going to give it a stir. Okay, everything is nice and coated. 
Beautiful. Get everything nice and coated. Right, and then I got me a baking sheet here and some parchment paper. And I'm gonna spread it out on here. Trying to get all of it. Let y'all see. Spread it out on your parchment paper. All right, y'all. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and um, I already have the oven preheated on 350, so it's ready. Y'all heard it beat. So I'm going to put it in the oven and let it bake for about 25 minutes, and then we're going to come back and see what it looks like and maybe do a taste test, y'all. So stay tuned. All right, y'all, and we are back. So it's been about 25, 30 minutes, y'all. I'm just now taking them out the oven. So let me show you what, what we got going on here. So this is what it's looking like straight out the oven. Let me get y'all a close-up. Y'all see? So you can kind of like break it up. I might could have left it in there a little longer. Let me break it up into a little pieces. I think I probably could have left it in a little bit longer, y'all, but y'all, the way this kitchen is smelling right now, this shit got to be busting, okay? So let's do a taste test. Okay. Um, break it up some more. Yeah, I think I could have left mine in, and I might, this part... On the on the end, oh, I'm, th I'm thinking that y'all see what I'm doing. I think I could have left it in a little bit longer. This part over here that got toasted, um, a little more crunchier. So I think I'm gonna actually add add this back in so it can get um, toasted a little bit more. But we're gonna use this here and add it to this bowl. But y'all, it smells so good. It smells so good. Over to the side. Now, in the future, I do plan on making my own almond milk instead of using the genetic, <laughs> the silk that I'm sure has genetically modified ingredients. Um, but this is all I got today, so this is what I'm going to be using. So I did add a little bit to the bowl. And I don't have any fruit to put on top of it. Do I even have any raisins? I don't even think I got any raisins. A little milk. Y'all see? And maybe a little bit more cinnamon. A little bit more cinnamon. All right, y'all, let's see what it's hitting for. That's what it looked like on the spoon. Can y'all see? Let's see what she hitting for. Y'all 
down here with you. Okay, y'all. I'm gonna give y'all my honest review. Um, the flavor is not bad at all. It needs to be a little bit more sweeter, but I think I can balance it out if I add like some um, cranberries, maybe some banana or like some strawberries on top, or maybe, I don't know, I wonder what, I wonder what honey do it. Or maybe some um, agave. Let me see if this would do it for me. Probably not. Yeah, it just needs it just needs a little bit more sugar for me for for my taste anyway. Okay. The syrup did help it out, but I really don't care for that honey taste in my cereal, so. I could probably do the agave syrup instead of honey. But, y'all, this is not bad at all. I could see myself doing this for breakfast instead of, you know, buying the box cereal at the grocery store. This is not bad at all. Like I said, I just need maybe some fruit added and a little bit more sweetness. But, yeah, not bad at all. I will be finishing that up. And I'm going to go ahead... And put this back in the oven so it can get a little bit more crisp, crispier. That being said, thank anybody that watched. Please like, comment, subscribe. Turn on your post notification bell so that you will know whenever I upload a new video. Okay? Until we meet again, guys. Bye.